Peggy 18. Other Side Entertainment is a, uh, an independent development studio created to further the work of studios like Looking Glass and uh, Junction Point uh, and uh, Ion Storm, uh, where we pursue the uh, art of the immersive simulation. These original games were very innovative for their time, uh, introduced and pioneered some new game design, new technologies. And that's really the spirit that we're carrying forward with Other Side to continue to innovate and push forward these genres. We've spent the last few years uh, really assembling this indie dream team of developers, uh, many of them former Looking Glass, former Irrational, like myself. Uh, it's, a, uh, it's, a, it's a small, scrappy indie team, and we're tackling a genre that's hundreds of people generally work on. Uh, we're able to do that because of the, the talent and the experience of the team. Underworld's a fantasy game and it's set in a classic high fantasy uh, setting, the Stygian Abyss, which is a vast volcano. Um, and so you explore in a dungeon crawl like way the underworld, but in a, in a first person, very immediate feel. Uh, the term that we use most often to describe the kind of game is an immersive simulation. An immersive simulation is a game that removes as many barriers to belief that you're in an alternate world as possible. Uh, the idea is to create systems and rules that players can exploit however they want, to interrupt the experience as little as possible uh, and in as unobtrusive ways as possible. We really want it to be, create uh, uh, a gameplay where if you yourself were this fantasy character and in the Stygian Abyss, the things you might creatively come up with to try to solve challenges would work. The game is not about, you know, uh, uh, trying to optimize and do the best possible playthrough. You get rewarded for trying different solutions and often coming back to, the, say, a quest or the same location and saying, well, last time I just fought way, my, my way through. There's, you know, 10 other ways, you know, 50 other ways I could have approached it. Let me try some different things out. Open world games tend to simulate a world that's an inch deep and miles wide. If you scratch just below the surface of the simulation, you, you don't find much, frankly. In games like Underworld Ascendant, we're doing something different. We're simulating a world that's an inch wide and miles deep, where within the confines of a smaller world, you interact with a much deeper simulation. Every time you come into an environment, things will be markedly different. Uh, different challenges, different opportunities. Uh, sometimes when you come in, uh, you'll see a deep slug, a useful deep slug, uh, which has a flammable trail. Uh, another time you'll come in and you'll have a green lizard man ally. Uh, the environment's also changing as far as uh, movement options. Sometimes you'll come in and the outcast tribe has set up uh, uh, platforms in certain areas, and other times they'll be torn down. So we're focused more around uh, jump in, have a fairly you know or intensive you know uh, session where you you can do a quest, and then if you want to do another quest and another quest, you can you can continue to do that. There's a lot more sort of replay and coming back and revisiting things. Fans will also find uh, that they're immersed in a world that is somewhat familiar. Now, non-fans are not going to have to have uh, knowledge of those earlier games, but for people who do know those earlier games, there's going to be uh, a little thrill of recognition here and there uh, that I think they'll really enjoy. Uh, not only uh, uh, one of our main characters, Kobirus, who is uh, uh, voiced by Stephen Russell, who is uh, Garrett and Thief, uh, is a major character from the series' backstory. Uh, there are also some ties that are a little deeper and a little harder to find. The, the spirit uh, of the original uh, Underworld was really to innovate and try something new that other people hadn't been doing. That's really the legacy of those games more than you know, the specifics of what the actual game did or the actual you know, specific features or content. And so, you know, to me, it's, it's, that's the legacy that, you know, we're, we're respecting, honoring the most is continuing to innovate, uh, see where we can move this genre forward. And it's a lot of fun.